Alright, so like right now I'm gonna test to see how long I could solo this survival. What are you thinking about? You know, like just um to when will it become a little bit too much for me, so I'm just gonna go on ahead and show you guys my quick loadout that I'm using. If I may say, operator, this is the Warframe, this is the primary, this is the secondary, this is the melee. Like I could go more in depth about these, but they're not too important for me to go in depth about. They're not like I'm doing build videos, this is more just me doing an actual run. So I'm just going to focus on that, I'm just going to hop straight into it. Um, let's go to solo mode and then MOT. Yes, let's do this. Narcoplasma is also pretty good. Cyberus Prime is also pretty good. Your job is to distract the enemy while fellow I, it's just that I was doing this more for like crowd control. The Zar is good for crowd control. Um, I have an, I have a fair amount of energy pizzas. Could use some more energy pizzas though. I don't know. Let's see. Stand by for support. I might be able to get away with no more energy pizzas, like not too many, I'm still gonna need to use a couple though, here and there. I'm just hoping that later on I'm not gonna need them, like I'm hoping that it was only early on I need them and not later, cause like I expect the enemies to do enough damage to me that my actual hunter general will actually do something, and not just be a mod scene there on, you know. Okay. Let's go. Let's get this focus ball real quick first. Life support incoming. Hmm. <laughs> this is gonna be one hell of a run. So far we're just a minute in bro, these guys are definitely on my ass bro, holy shit. Like they only come after me now, there's no other teammates to draw their attention, so like they're all after just me. Oh, dude, and this is only like one minute in and I'm already feeling this pressure? Holy shit, that's ridiculous, I didn't know that these guys were capable of pressuring me so early on in the inner run, you know? Gotta kill him fast enough to get that life support, buddy. Eventually, the melee will come in handy when I'm dealing with the crowds. Like, those are better for crowds. If it's individual enemies, I can normally just deal with it with the uh, Akaboltos. Let's use this as like the main camping room for now. Okay. Another life support capsule is now available. Capsules, really? What did I truly expect to gain with four health capsules? Or four health of stars?
Let's explore around a wee bit more then. See what's good, you know? Check out this map a bit. Okay, so we got the main room. We got that room. <sighs> see what's around here. The raid is off to a successful start. This is like the vault room. The cash room. Toxic barrage. That's what he yielded this time. The 60 60 poison for shotguns. Let me just like close this. I can minimize this. I can close this. I can. Just minimize that. Okay. So let's make performance better. Time to find going good shit. Sixty-two percent life support. I don't look him too bad, I won't use him just yet. I don't think it's necessary just yet. Oh, what's up? Where do you usually get Octavia? I like the blue one. What do I usually want? Where do you usually like find blueprints for Octavia? Like the the war print? Oh. So it depends. What part you want to get? So like her chassis is rewarded from a Lua mission. And, like you have to do this this puzzle on a Lua, and then it rewards the chassis 100% guaranteed. You just gotta find the room. The Neuroptics, you gotta farm um, a Roken derelict survival, and it comes from rotation C. And then her systems is like I'm trying to remember when the systems come from. That's right. You have to look that one up on the YouTube. I'm not 100% sure about the systems. Um, where would the systems come from? I know that her blueprint, I think that comes from her mission. Um, Octavia's dream or something like that. I don't know. Octavia's anthem. Octavia's anthem, there you go. 
I can bring it back. It's been a while since I played that. You can just use like Zephyr or something like that and just cheese it. I don't work since that is like this like this line that like goes in a circle and like every time it hits you it'll knock you off so you gotta jump to avoid it each time but you can have a frame that either has more air time or just has invincibility and you can just cheese it so Rhino or Zephyr yeah, you you come a long way to get the fucking second game mm. you have Ceres, Jupiter, Saturn Uranus and then Neptune. Yeah? I'm just here soloing in my team, man. Like, I'm literally on solo mode, bro. Like, I'm at 10 minutes right now. <laughs> It's fucking showing right now, so what the fuck is going on? Don't fucking bullshit me. Don't fucking bullshit me, bro. What happened? Are you doing this I got fucking bullshit. These guys are saying that my ability was inactivated, but when I'm dead, it shows my, my, my ability was activated, so what the fuck? Like, according to this, I shouldn't have died if my ability was activated, but then at the same time it was, so like, wog on, bro. Like, these guys fucking. Dirty bunch of cocksuckers. Got a dirty death on me. That's fucking dirty. That wasn't even legit. That wasn't even earned. Fuck off. That's the thing, technically as long as I'm taking damage, I'll always go down properly. Cause like, you gain energy whenever you take damage, and in order to die you gotta take damage. And then in order for me to get revived when I die, I gotta have energy. So technically, I'll always have energy when I die, cause I get energy whenever I take damage. So like, I might as well just leave it on anyways. I shouldn't really run out, worry about running out of energy. I just gotta let my get I, I just gotta let myself take damage here and there, you know. So like this, like that, like that. Yeah, there we go, so do that. Okay, so I gotta balance it, so let them hit me and then kill them. And then I can balance my energy with my health. Okay. Look at that. Bitch, please. Like another one of them rooms is. 28. And the kind of good. Yo. Yo. Is it kind of good? Yeah. And the prime is good. And the regular version. Not really, no. No. The prime version, no. You might as well make like a Legion or a Lastra. Literally. Those are pretty good non prime weapons. Oh, what was the first one? Legion. Yeah, Legion. It's a pole arm. And it has an, a passive ability where, like, um,. When you inflict the toxic status, I think it gives you like a movement speed increase or some shit. 
I don't fucking know. Like, there's some sort of innate ability on it, which is pretty damn good. Something to do with toxin and movement speed, that's all I remember. Like, if I don't use it myself often, I just don't remember it. Wait a minute, don't I need to get life support soon? Or no? Oh, no, 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 okay. I wish that I had my headphones, my freaking friend didn't drop them off today, so like, I gotta use speakers. And like, since it's 3 a.m., I have to turn them down so I can barely hear you. Yeah. I'm assuming the handle is solo so far, a little bit well though. It's definitely a tad challenging. You know, like, it's not like I have breathing room. There's no breathing room. I can barely even pop down a freaking energy pad. <laughs> this is constant pressure. But, it's fun. People will be like, cause Wuk people will be like, Wukong shit, I'll be like, really now? Like, have you, have you soloed, um, MOT with Wukong? And, and tell me that you've had a lot of issues with it? Like, just, just tell me how impossible it is to do any endgame content with this Warframe now. Just, just tell me, cause I've done it myself solo. <laughs> I've done stories with this guy with monsters which are like twice the level of this. Like a level 80 to 100. No problemo. No problemo. Because his ability defined. Gonna let someone kill me ASAP. Fuck. Invalid request. There are no security protocols active. <coughs> to go on melee mode now they're getting too strong for me to like aim them down in the face and like fight them gun on gun like nah like I have to freaking fight them from like 50 tiles away now or else I just have to start using my defy a lot which I don't really want to do this is like more of a last resort kind of thing The levels aren't high enough to one-shot me, but they're still able to bring me down pretty damn fast. The heavy gunners in there together. What the fuck? Okay. Gotta be careful now. Bro. Those freaking multiple enemies on me, like... I need to be careful. Like, I don't know why I was being so upfront with them if... I acknowledge that they were able to at least do damage to me in groups. Cause like, I can't just like waltz up to a group of them anymore. Not with my gun. I can only do that with my sword. 
my sword has the kind of range to take out that group, but my gun obviously doesn't. Constantly turning off his ability and letting myself die. Like technically, if his ability stays on, he has no chance of dying because the ability revives him as soon as you die. That's literally what it does. So it's like I should just stop being so stingy on my energy and just stop trying to save him, just let it run away from him. Because you just never know when the you know, freaking enemy might just pop up in the corner and just freaking flank you with some hot shit. And then you're taking an L on the ground and like, fuck if I had my ability on, that would have been prevented. So, I don't think I have any more allowed L's to be taken anyways. Well, we already passed the rotation C. That's some frickin' bullshit. My carrier prime couldn't even use its sacrifice and prime regen combination on me. Alright, so I guess it's like around the 22 mark when the Wukong starts getting a little bit overwhelmed. Like this is when like even with your weapons and he starts really feeling the pressure. Look at that. Yep, he's going down to defy mode in like kind of no time now. Which I mean doesn't mean he can't do it, it's just he's gonna be constantly needing to use the ability. You have to constantly like refresh it, which is playing with fire every time you do it. Like, you never know when the enemy might shoot a straight bullet at you when you have two health, and then, of course, since I have no revives left, if I die right now, I, I have to abort the mission. But, I'm not too worried right now because I have max energy, so, like, I can't really die. But when I'm on low on energy, I'm gonna start running to the base, or running to the exit. Right now, I'm good, though, so I'll just chill out and do whatever the hell I want to. I should have another like, five minutes on me, technically, if I just, like, be smart.
I let them keep on attacking me so I can keep my energy up. But don't let them kill me. Then I don't lose energy. Like where I'm at right now is great. If I can stay at this health, like where, like where I have no shields that are going into my HP, that's good. So I'm gonna keep on getting energy. the rotation scene. These guys are only getting stronger. <coughs> the enemy won't start destroying shit. What the? I feel I'm not like, not even because I'm. It wasn't like some bullshit thing, it just, just because I'm fucking dyslexic and I'm fucking retarded. And I was only about to recast it right there, thank god I didn't. Or else I would have just taken the biggest hell of my life. Like, dude. Little blue. Yeah, 2.5x on the critical multiplier, or melee combo multiplier. Shields going real quick, get my energy back up. Until my next defy refresh to recast it. Nineteen twenty-two percent. Um, why is the nearest one support hundred something meters? <coughs> Three hundred. There's one minute right over here. Life support activated. 
perfect. Exactly what I want to do. Go somewhere else and recast it. So yeah, Wukong definitely needs a good weapon to back him up. If you don't have a good weapon, you're gonna get fucked. I'm getting the hang of how to use them. There's a certain way to use them. There's a certain way to time them. Like all this time I could have taken zero L's and I could be going so much further. But instead I took all four of my L's early. So now it's like when I'm finally understanding how to use them, I have no L's to spare. Or else I fail the mission entirely. So priority, make sure that nullifiers are down so they don't take off my defy. Second priority is to get everyone heavy gunners so they don't trigger my and the rest is just taking out those freaking corpus guys with the shotgun. We have a lot of close range damage. Not too worried about the baseline. So they're, they're, they're soft. Critical life support levels, eh? Another life support capsule is now available. You are running out of time. Consider extraction. Life support has been replenished. That should keep you going for a while. Bitch. Damn, I need to get life support right now. Oh shit, they're upstairs. That's not good. This is my only safe spot. I need to kill you now. Like, no. Okay, I'm safe. I'm safe. Okay, 35 minutes and we'll dip. Seems like that's like... What we can really aim for here. Life 
Life support activated. You now it's becoming a little bit of a pain to survive. Incoming. You know what I mean? Like now it's less that should keep you not going as easy. Um fuck. Support has arrived. Who knows, enemies might just like find me in here. Oh no, I thought I blew that up just now. What did I freaking say? Speaking of the motherfuckers. Motherfuckers trying to call them my ass. Yeah, you yeah, yeah, those guys are playing bulky as fuck now. 60 odd meters away. Is this this room? Okay, this is this section. Wait, did I like lose my. No, I didn't. They're gonna stop fucking around with these. Are you here, man? Alright. Like, can I handle the full 40 minutes? I wonder. I freaking. Surviving another five minutes in this shit is actually gonna be a bitch. But these enemies are so fucking hard. They're fucking heavy gunners, bro. I can handle it, though. I just gotta be slick. Pretty much, like, my, my melee ain't saving me from the heavy gunners issue. Like, I can't, I can't rely on it to, like, necessarily take them out. Like, if, like, what I mean is that my Volta was more reliable than my, than my melee for taking out that enemy, which is not good because if in, in a fire-to-fire -fire fight, he, he puts too much offensive pressure on me. Fuck, can't with the bad levels of life support. Just me to activate it here. I have to do it like up top. Okay, guys, I've had no coin yet, so it seems I might be able to. I might just might. the life support run out damn it damn you I would have had 40 minutes ah oh, I didn't die yet but it's like I can't even play anymore I have to leave now like there's no point of staying oh. 37 minutes Wukong lasted. Wukong lasted 37 minutes. So yeah, it's pretty safe to say that 40 minutes is like is the point that Wukong can play until he is more like really, really, really reliant on weapons. Like, if your weapons are not able to like keep the enemies at bay, then you will start feeling the pressure, having to hide a lot to like recast your defy. So, yeah, he's not a bad. He's not a bad frame. He definitely has some good survivability. Pretty niche. -y. Not bad. I like him. I like him. He's pretty cool. 